Hey guys, welcome along to another video of Big Gooners TV. This is our match preview of Arsenal Burnley, which is getting, taking place in four hours now. It's at the Turf Moor. Looks like Burnley are in a good run of form. They've won the last couple of games in the league and then with a, um, a loss at Chelsea, which is hard to do. But what are your thoughts on the game? It's going to be tough. It's going to be really very, tough. Very, very tough. It's a way... Uh, we've not been in a, a great reign of form away from home. Although with under Arteta, we've actually been quite handy. Yeah. And we are unbeaten in um, 2020. So it's kind of... We're, we're, yeah, we're, we kind, still we're are. kind of on a good I run. Um, it'll be a tough game. Um, it's going to be, yeah. Burnley are always notoriously difficult to, to break down. Um, they're, a, they're a tough... They're, they're kind of bullies. They, they, yeah. they, they knock good teams off... You know, off off their rhythm, and uh, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a tricky one. Yeah, I, I personally, I'm not sure how it's gonna um, turn out at the end of the game, but we've got a, a couple of sorry about that. We've got a couple of new um, new players in the squad, like Pablo Mari. Are they, are they playing? Though? Cedric Suarez. I don't well, think they'll Ce be playing. Suarez only just joined like two days ago, so. It's well, what do you mean, Mari only joined two days before that? Well, so. He's had a is he back he's from Brazil? Is he back from Brazil? Yeah, he's he he's arrived back. in Brazil on the day. Okay, he was there. So we've got a couple more players. Not sure if they'll be playing. Yeah, like I don't they won't be oh. starting. They may no. come on off the bench. They might get a cameo appearance right at the like end. the last fifteen or whatever. Yeah. But um, good news. We've got Abamyang back from his three match ban. <laughs> so that's always he'll good be hungry. News. He he'll, he'll be, be wanting he'll to be get back rare on the field. To go. He'll, He'll be, be absolutely rare to get. Well, yeah. we hope he. We hope we hope he will. Hopefully, he can help Lacazette <laughs> out a bit because Lacazette's been struggling a bit without him yeah. not scoring, and even before he was. We out. talk a lot about Lacaz's hold-up play and his work rate, which are, which is fantastic. But he's got he, he needs a goal. There's no two ways about it. A player of his stature, um, his history, his form yeah. in, in other clubs, he needs a goal. So, yeah, and also about. Um, our central defenders. So Pablo Mari would should be on the bench today, especially because you kind of think you'll get going. Time, especially because Louise is out with his yeah. ban still. So yeah, you kind of think you'll get a game. Yeah, last twenty or something. Yeah. So, I suppose it'll depend. It will depend where where the game's going. If we're if we're two nil up, he'll come on. If we're two nil two nil down, he won't. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's hope we're not 2 0 down. Yeah, hope hope not because that's been a bit of a story of our season so far this season. We've just either given up, um, given up goals we've scored, which have been really good in the first half, or we've let in goals at the start, then we've scored a couple of goals back, and we've been just, It's just well. been draws. We've had some. We've had some we had the rough end of some dodgy decisions as yeah. well, which you know hasn't helped. But anyway, so. I think it's going to be quite hard for our attackers to pass through the defence and break down of yeah. Burnley because they've they've been known this season to they've been really good. So well, we still haven't got that player to unlock the um, opposition's defence. Yeah, uh, Ozil's not firing. Savias hasn't really had a chance to, to to come on the park. Yeah, and we obviously didn't sign anyone. So. Yeah, it's going to be difficult breaking down. We've only that. signed defenders, which is what well, we which need. Well, which is exactly what we need. But we we still need we another still number need, ten. We still need someone in that. We, are we going to go for a number ten? Do you think the? I mean, we a lot a lot of people talking about the number They'll ten being finished. The board will be knowing they need they need another really quality number ten, but who knows? Yeah. So let's get on to the predicted, um, the match prediction. What do you I think? think I don't want to be pessimistic. Um, because on recent, you know, the last six months, I would actually what a month ago or two months ago, I'd have gone, I'd have, I'd have been thinking we're going to lose, or yep. work, or best case a draw. I actually, Under think, Emery. I actually think we've turned a corner, and there's a good chance we'll we'll score a few goals. Yep. So I reckon two nil, maybe three 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 one. I don't want to draw. I'm sick of draws. We can't. We just. Well, how many draws have we had this year? Like, Seven or not Seven. nine or ridiculous no, crazy amount. draws. We've had draws. like twelve. Twelve in yeah, the league. Sorry, yeah, I mean it's, Ju it's that's crazy. just the league. So I'm looking for a win. I think we're gonna we're gonna go up there and we're gonna we're gonna score a few goals. And Burnley bang us back. 
Burnley in their recent games as well, they've been winning more away than home. So yeah, they could change it around this game, but they've got better form away, so that could be yeah. a benefit for us. So I think there'll be a bit of a buzz around the club. You know, we've had a couple of, couple of signings, Bam, a bangers back. Yeah. I think we'll have. I think there'll be a buzz, and they should be. They'll score a few goals, and the supporters will be on. Yeah. they've been really good recently. The mob will be up there, and they've been really vocal in the last few games. The yeah, like away I said, the way supporters have been amazing. Like I said in other videos, <laughs> I think it was a couple of videos ago when you were at work yeah. and stuff. I said they've been louder than c yeah. the commentators some of the times. Don't you reckon? Oh yeah, they've been good. They've been absolutely brilliant. But now. It's, the, it's the, the, 12th, the 12th man, so... Yeah, um, so let's get on to predicted the predicted lineup. Yep. So Leno. Leno, Standard of course, Leno. just every yeah, single Premier League game. I think, I think, I think um, the FA Cup uh, well, last week kind of demonstrated Martinez's frailties. Yeah. He wasn't confident in goal. He made some kind of, kind of uncharacteristic errors, and I, Leno's the man, so always Leno. Yep, and then on the full, full backs, I'm going to go Bellerin and Saka. Oh, Saka's been superb, yeah, and excellent. so has Bellerin. Bellerin's been good since he's been back. And in defence, this is going to be a tricky one, but probably I'm going to give Holding holding a game this I game. I think Holding will get a start. He, he kind of has to. And Socrates. Yeah, he'll be back. And in midfield, I'm going to play just... Jacka Torreira. Jacka Torreira. I mean, they've been really good since our under since Arteta. Our, since Arteta's come in, they've been strong. Yeah. So, why change? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. Yeah. And um, our front four. For me, this is the most difficult one to choose because I don't want to choose Özil. Just away games, especially. Just he shouldn't. He shouldn't get a start. To, he for should, me. Not should not get, get a start. start. Um, and Sabias just doesn't look like he wants to be at the club. He sh we should have kicked him. We should oh, have. Oh, I it just what he said on social media and stuff, and there are speculations about him. Just doesn't seem like he wants to be at the club, so I'm not going to play him. So I'm going to play Martinelli at number ten. I'm going to play Bamiang on the left wing, Lacquer up top, and Pepe on the right. So I Martinelli, think Martinelli number ten. I'm going to play Pepe um, Martinelli number ten. I think that position will really suit him with him getting on the ball, working hard. And that will allow him to like um, play play more defensive, drop back a bit more. Oh, and and when he gets the ball in midfield, he can just drive. What and are the chances of that? Out. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not sure, but no. that's what I'm gonna. That's play. a strong squad, mate. It's yeah. a strong squad. Very yeah. strong squad. Yeah. So yeah, let's wrap it up. So come on, Arsenal. Let's let's finally come on. Get, we need a win. Let's not um, end our 2020 unbeaten run because. We need to get into the more run, look, better run. better spot in the table. Yeah, hold on. Run and start somewhere. Look yeah. at Liverpool. They 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 started at a point A and they're now at point Z. They are on a rich vein of form, but it started with a run of unbeaten games. Yeah. Let let this be our start of an un, un, an yeah. unbeaten run and. And what the we'll table's build confidence, and you never, you never know. I think top four's gone, but you I just never know. I personally, Look, they're, they're slipping. Look at Leicester. Look at Chelsea. They're not. No one's. I mean, probably Sheffield. No one's probably. playing really well. Man U. But what it does demonstrate is yeah. how competitive the Premier League is. Because really, from Liverpool down, so discount Liverpool, you can go all the way down to Burley and Brighton, and there's. The, the, the teams in the lower division 14, are beating... As, as we can see, 14th, 13, 14th, 13th and 12th are all in the same points. And the difference between, I think it's eight... Well, let's have a look. So, um, top um, fifth place team has 36 points. That's Sheffield United. And... The 13th? The 18th. S no, 16th. What? 18th on the ladder has 24 points. And fifth place has thirty six. So there's only twelve points 12 between points the top and bottom. bottom of the yeah, and we're wedged right in the middle. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna have to start winning games if we want to break past that middle part of the ladder. Well, so to get back into the Europa. I mean, we're not even in the Europa League <laughs> yeah, standings exactly. at the moment. So can't believe I can't believe Newcastle are above us. Oh yeah. My goodness. Personally, in the last in the under Arteta, the ladder. I don't think we've just been really unlucky in games. We should we should be getting more wins, but. 
Let's hopefully we can yep. turn that Blunt around. Term. Come on, Gunners. Come, Come on, on, you Gunners. Let's go. Come on, you boys. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment under, comment in the comments below. Like everything. I've said it before. But finally, come on, Arsenal. Get this win. End this draw. Come on!